Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Today, as globalization and high-tech industries are deeply integrated, the strategic position of chips as core components of information technology is self-evident. In recent years, with the complexity and changeability of the international economic situation, the competition and game in the chip field have become increasingly fierce. As the world's leading semiconductor manufacturer, TSMC's every decision affects the nerves of the global chip industry. In particular, its suspension of supply to Chinese companies such as Huawei has aroused widespread attention and deep thinking. When TSMC once again announced the suspension of supply of 7 nanometers process AI chips to the mainland, a seemingly strange but meaningful phenomenon quietly emerged, the reactions of domestic manufacturers, experts and the public were extremely calm, and it can even be said that they turned a deaf ear. Foreign media have said that self-developed domestic chips have become an inevitable choice. Since five years ago, Western countries' restrictive measures against China's chip industry have been like a sword, not only stabbing Huawei, a Chinese technology giant, but also profoundly affecting the entire Chinese chip industry chain. From TSMC's suspension of Huawei's 5 nanometers chips to the ban on the sale of ASML EUV lithography machines to the establishment of a four-party alliance with Japan and South Korea and the decoupling and disconnection of software systems such as AIM and EDA, this series of measures is undoubtedly a major challenge to the development of China's chip industry. However, as Huawei warned, once the ban is fully implemented, companies in the entire supply chain will be hard to escape. This is not only for Chinese companies, but also a profound reshaping of the global semiconductor industry ecosystem. Faced with TSMC's resupply, domestic manufacturers reacted unexpectedly calmly. This does not mean indifference but is based on a deep understanding and rational judgment of the current situation. First of all, with the entry of Huawei and other companies in the AI chip market and the technical accumulation of other domestic manufacturers in related fields, China's chip industry has already acquired a certain degree of self-sufficiency. Especially in the field of mid to high-end chips, by improving the self-sufficiency rate and localization rate of semiconductors, Chinese chip manufacturers have not only filled the shortcomings in technology, but also achieved technological breakthroughs in some fields, bringing strong performance growth to domestic companies such as SMIC. Secondly, the reduction of domestic manufacturers' external dependence makes them more relaxed when facing supply cuts. In the past few years, China's chip industry has continuously improved its competitiveness by increasing R&D investment, optimizing industrial structure, and promoting technological innovation. In particular, in the fields of advanced packaging technology and DUV lithography, China has made significant progress, providing strong support for independent and controllable chip production. The calm attitude of Chinese experts also reflects the maturity and confidence of China's chip industry after experiencing a series of challenges. They know that in the face of Western technological blockades and market restrictions, the Chinese chip industry can only fundamentally get rid of external dependence and achieve long-term development by taking the path of independent innovation. Therefore, they are more concerned about how to enhance the overall strength of the domestic chip industry 
How to Strengthen Exchanges and Cooperation with International Advanced Technologies and how to promote the coordinated development of upstream and downstream of the industrial chain. At the same time, experts also pointed out that although the supply cuts of TSMC and other companies have brought certain pressures and challenges to the Chinese chip industry, they have also provided Chinese companies with rare opportunities. This has forced the Chinese chip industry to accelerate the pace of independent innovation and promote industrial upgrading and transformation. In this process, Chinese chip companies will pay more attention to technological innovation and talent training and continuously improve their core competitiveness. Looking ahead, China's chip industry will continue to firmly follow the path of independent innovation. On the one hand, China will increase its support for the semiconductor industry to promote technological innovation and industrial upgrading. By strengthening exchanges and cooperation with international advanced technologies, introducing and cultivating high-end talents, and continuously improving the overall strength of China's chip industry. On the other hand, China will actively promote the coordinated development of the upstream and downstream of the industrial chain to form a more complete industrial ecology. By strengthening the independent and controllable capabilities of key links such as raw materials, equipment, and design software, the risk of external dependence can be reduced. In addition, China will also strengthen communication and cooperation with the international community to jointly promote the healthy development of the global semiconductor industry. By participating in the formulation of international standards and strengthening intellectual property protection, the voice and influence of China's chip industry on the international stage will be enhanced. In short, facing the challenge of TSMC's suspension of 7 nanometers chips, the Chinese chip industry has shown unprecedented calmness and confidence. They know that only by firmly following the path of independent innovation can they fundamentally get rid of external dependence and achieve long-term development. In the days to come, the Chinese chip industry will continue to forge ahead and contribute its own strength to the realization of the Chinese dream of the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation.